G'day. Been wanting to do this video for a while. Been waiting for racing to release the the macros for wet tire change, so I can give you some details on that. So today I'm going to give you five tips of probably what you need to know about iRacing pit stops, some quick ways, some buttons to set up on your stream deck, uh, and macros, obviously, to it comes up in the auto text chat. I might have done videos like this before, but I thought I'd put together five tips that you need to know about iRacing pit stops. Like just, there might be some basic stuff in here. <laughs> I'll split it up so you can skip to what you want to know. But um, yeah, so this, this should be, all you need to know about iRacing pit stops anyway. All right. Hope it helps. All right, so first one's a basic one. I've always got these tick boxes checked for most of my cars and, yeah, auto blip for most of my stuff. I don't know, it is bloody H pattern. Um... So if you're, if you're driving open wheel cars or MX-5 even, they don't actually have a, a pit speed limiter. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do a, like a bit of oval racing, so C-class trucks. This this actually works. You just come into the pit lane hot, slow it up, and it'll, it'll hold the pit speed limiter. Like, yeah, it's, it's not exactly simulation, is it? But yeah, it's gonna, like for example, in a league race, there was a guy leading their race, and he's, he didn't have this checked and he was worried about uh, stuff and, like going through pit lane too hot. So it was, it was he probably lost a couple of seconds in the pit lane purely for that fact. So it's there, you might as well use it to your advantage. I know it's a basic thing, but <laughs> I've got to show everyone what the go is. All right, the next one. All right, so number four, another basic one. That's something you need to know. Uh, I think it was last season or maybe the season before, iRacing put in a, a feature of auto fuel, so it sort of eliminates the fact of having to run crew chief and so on, but I still trust crew chief, so I've, I've sort of set up uh, the config file to eliminate this and, and leave it off standard. I've got a ticket to manually to um, have it turned on, so I'll show in the next one, but yeah, something basic. It's going to default to on anyway, so yeah. Have a look at the next one. See the thing if you don't trust it, turn it off in the config file. All right, so for number three, you're going to want to find your iRacing uh, documents folder, documents iRacing, and you want to open the app app file. So that's going to come up in Notepad by default. So it's all in sections here, adaptive order, it's all in alphabetical order. So you want to scroll down to pit service. Okay, pit service, here we go. So it's all encoding, so zero is off, one is on. So one auto fillers will be enabled by default, zero auto fill remain disabled. So by default, it's it's on one, so it's uh, turned on. If you want to set up crew chief and so on, you're going to turn this off because it's going to, well, I think it still clashes with it, but I've turned it off anyway because I don't want it on. I trust crew chief more than the iRacing one because I've used it for longer sort of thing. So I feel more comfortable with it. Don't worry about this one because it's turned off. Auto refuel margin laps like it's the same as crew chief where you set up how much extra lap of fuel you want. Uh, I've got auto auto reset fast repair on. So one means on. And then auto reset pit, pit box. This is the one that... If it's on one, every time you jump in the car, it's gonna, by default, it's gonna set up tire and fuel uh, fuel in the pit stop. So full full pit service. So if you have those times, you have a crash, you go back to the pit, you go, oh shit, didn't I check the tires? Well, you're not gonna have that issue anymore with this on zero. But then you've got to set up a button to replace tires, which I'll show you in the, in the next one. And when you're done changing these zeros to ones or however you want to set it up, just make sure you hit file save. All right, number two. This is where it gets quite deep and a little bit complicated. So what I'll do for these ones here, I'll, I'll link in the description um, the list of all the macros for the IRS is supplied, but I don't think they've updated for the wet tie, dry tie yet. So, because it's just been in a, in a patch update they put in their release notes. So this one's here, I'll give you a quick explanation. These are the buttons you hit uh, to say anything in the text chat but the, what they call macro so the hashtag it's a it's a control for the car inside so even this one was set up for enduros transit all teams so because it goes to team in enduro when you jump out of the car 
So just the button to hit that to change the channel. You, you can set up a, a one button press for most of the commands in Oracy now. Um, some of this stuff's just for hosting and stuff like clear black flags, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so these ones down the bottom here are the most important ones. So WS is for windshield. And now, oh, this is for clear pit stop. And then obviously plus two liter, minus two liter. But then I think you've got to run a different, uh, if you're running the, the American, so gallons, I'm, I'm guessing that the, the letter will be different on, on the, behind the number. Um, so yeah, reset pit stop for this one, hashtag clear. Okay, so TC1 is dry tire, TC2 is wet tire. So I've also added T because I noticed that when I, when I set this up for the um, oval trucks I normally run, if I didn't put the T here, it was saying, oh, there's only one tire compound, so I was sort of clashing with that, but they might patch that yet. So I'll throw up some screenshots and I'll, I'll link into the in the description where, where to find the big list of all the macros. So this, you might be able, might want to add something different that I haven't done either, but I feel macros is quite important, especially if you've got a button box or a stream deck. It's bloody important to have this stuff set up because it makes life a lot easier. All right, the number one, probably the most important one thing is <laughs> having crew chief running your racing and being your spotter. I've done a video on this before, so I'll link in the description if you want more details. But pretty much once you get crew chief installed, uh, turn it off. So obviously when it, when it starts, you can't change the properties. So to stop that, properties. And the most simple way is go to fuel search. Enable fuel measures, so it's going to give you some data on um, how much fuel you're using and so on, how many laps you got to go. Enable or racing auto refueling when entering in uh, pit in race log type fuel. Actually, I want to change this myself. I'll see if this works now. Okay, so additional fuel to add to finish the race number of laps worth. So. I want half a lap fuel because sometimes I had on one for a long time. I honestly, I thought I had half a lap, but it's like that now. So I'll just change that. But um, then safe changes. There you go. Done. That's it. that's the go. All right. I hope to help you get the run down on um, some of the things you need to know about racing pit stops. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helps.